Philadelphia is out rebounded Detroit by eight, 25-17. And oddly enough, both ball clubs have shot 50% from the field. Both teams shooting over 80% from the line, so it's been a fine first half. 85.5% for Milwaukee and 82% for Detroit. Bellamy now against Alcindor. Jack, here we go. And you know, Jerry, it was interesting how analytical Lou Alcindor was in appraising his play in the first half. He felt he took some bad shots. He felt he didn't get enough movement. Let's see if he's going to do a little differently here in this second half. McLemore brings it back to within five, and now it goes into the hole to Alcindor against Bellamy. Over his head, he scores. Alcindor, nine for 18. And you can see the ball going to Alcindor. Bellamy in foul trouble. The Bucks want to try and get that fourth and fifth foul on Walter Bellamy. So he's going to probably leave Alcindor alone for a while. This is the biggest lead that Milwaukee has had. Seven. Bellamy with a jumper. And the rebound hauled down underneath by Dandridge. This is a fine rookie, Bob Dandridge from Richmond, Virginia. That's Robinson. Bellamy grabbing the rebound away from Alcindor. And he steals it away from him. And the bell steals it back. McLemore picks it up. 62 to 55, and a technical against Walter Bellamy. He said the magic word to the referee, John Parker. He felt evidently he was fouled on the play, and the technical is assessed against the big bell. It is not a personal foul, but a technical. And to shoot at John McLaughlin. McLaughlin from Indiana. He had 19 and a half points a game last year, and he might have a better year this year. John is a good shooter. Now it's 63-55, the biggest lead for Milwaukee. They're up by eight. We're in the third period with 11 minutes to go. Eddie Miles against the rookie, Dandridge. Back to Bellamy. And he's short with a line drive right-handed. Komives with a steal. And Butch scores. Makes it 63 to 57. You notice Alcindor did not come out on Walter Bellamy. Bellamy taking the shot from the top of the key did not make it, and Lou is going to make him uh, make one or two before he comes out to challenge him. So it would appear the teams with a good outside shooting center, they'll draw Alcindor out, but if you do not have that good outside shooter, look out. A block play brilliantly by McLemore. And the rebound by Miles now to Jimmy Walker. In the corner, that's Komar. 63-57, Milwaukee leading. Bellamy sets the pick. And now picking him up on the pick and roll and scoring Bellamy. Basket by Bellamy. Alcindor switched. And left his man open as he rolled inside. And Lou just went to school on that play. 63-59. That's Alcindor. And he's... Alcindor. Alcindor is now 10 out of 19 from the field. Jerry, that's a very good point. Lou going to school. Lou is uh, benefiting by every experience here, and he was taken in on a simple give and go there, and knowing uh, Alcindor and the way he approaches the game, I don't think it'll happen too many more times. That's McLemore driving baseline left. Blocked by Alcindor, and that's goaltending. When the ball is on its downward arc, you cannot hit it. And it appeared as though it was a good call by the trail referee, John Parker. So it is 65-61, a four-point lead for Milwaukee. And a jumper by Smith. That's Don Smith. No good and hits the top of the backboard and rolls out of bounds. You notice the Pistons, the book on Don Smith is that he cannot hit the outside shot, and that's the way they're playing him. They were five to six feet off of him, and uh, they're trying to sag in and help Bellamy out on Alcindor. And you just saw it flashed on the screen coming up next. From California, football with UCLA against California. Five and a half hours of sports this afternoon on ABC. Here's Eddie Miles at the line. You note he wears sweatbands on his wrists to keep the perspiration off his hands. Some players like the way they stick them, apply the stick them on their fingers when they shoot. It's illegal, but they try and get away with it. Other players don't like to have any perspiration at all or any stick them. 65-62, Alcindor with a hook. It's no good, he's now 10 for 19. A moment ago, 10 for 20 now. Dandridge scores. So they're starting a pair of rookies. The Bucks with their ball club this year. Jerry, a frightening statistic. That front line of the Bucks averages 22 years of age. They're gonna be around a long time. Walker goes to Comines. And it's 67 for Milwaukee and 64 for Detroit. We have eight minutes, 45 seconds left to go in the third period. 
That's Robinson driving and beating everyone. Robinson. Robinson, number 21. UCLA against California. Football upcoming next on ABC. Knocked away. And goes out of bounds. In addition to the three games we've mentioned already tonight in the NBA, Red Holzman has his New York Knickerbockers hot already with three wins in a row at home against the Lakers. That's tonight. Komaev scoring. He's the next Nick. Jerry West had himself a great night last night with 39 points. And he's against the Knicks tonight at Madison Square Garden. McLaughlin misses one. Finally, John's been hot six for nine from the field. And it's 69 to 66 with eight minutes to go. Milwaukee leading. Eddie Miles misses. Knocked out of bounds by two bucks. Paul Smith, Smith and Al Cinder. And a foul first call. First personal, play. first game foul. Loose a ball loose ball foul. foul. There's another typical example of the loose ball foul. No shooting foul. Unless in the penalty situation, but charged to the team. You know, you can't help but be impressed with the movement the Milwaukee Bucks have. Here we have Al Cinder High setting picks, trying to get some movement for his other four players. The last foul, Jack, was on Eddie Miles. Bringing it up. That's the Bucks. Don Smith. Robinson with that fadeaway jump. Oh, a shot. Comey just looks at him as if I can't believe that shot. He gets that ball back so far, Jerry, it's very difficult to get back and block it. Which was right inside his jersey. Jump shot, no good by Walker. Missed by Miles. That's Bellamy fighting his way in there for the score. That's good by Bellamy. 71 68, but Dandridge comes back to three. He can run that kid. Bellamy had a crack at blocking the layup, but he didn't want to get the foul, so he just let Dandridge go in unmolested for the layup. Jack Twyman and Jerry Gross speaking to you from Milwaukee, where it's 73 68. On ABC's Wide World of Sports, Alcindor's debut. By Walker. Walker makes it 73-70, and we can take the squeaker Milwaukee. right here at the arena in Milwaukee. Timeout here in the third quarter in Milwaukee with the score: the Bucks 73 and Detroit 70. Quarter, North Carolina State over Virginia. 7-0 Virginia Tech ahead in that one and Tennessee over Alabama. Diving right in front of our microphone. Dandridge loses the ball and Jack Kleiman comes up with his first play of the year. First pass of my career. That might be. <laughs> you didn't even pass the salt at dinner last night. 73 to 70. That's the score with 640 to go. Bringing it up on the right side. That's Comai. Detroit trails by three. Jimmy Walker with the ball shooting outside and it's short now Cinder blocked out Bellamy well underneath away from the ball and the rebound falls into the lap of Dandridge and here's Robinson bringing it up that's his jumper from the right fade away Dandridge at 195 number 10 there six foot six 195 doing a real fine job on the board and the rookie has banged home 10 points in his debut here's Comai bringing it up it's a five-point lead now for Milwaukee six minutes to go basket by Bellamy there you notice they tried to run the same play that shook Bellamy open for the layup before Alcindor wisely stepped back allowing the guard to slide through 75-72 the team with the ball leading. There's the pass into the guard underneath. The guards are going inside the forward and working either to the baseline, outside, or cutting across. Jerry, the reason uh, the, the Bucks are moving so much is the unselfish attitude of Cinder, second of Al Cinder. If a player knows Robinson if he makes a move and he's going to get the ball once he gets open, it gives him a little incentive. And that's just what Al Cinder, a very unselfish ball player, he's hitting these Bucks when they get open, and they're, they're going to continue to get open because they know they're going to get the ball. 28-year-old Flynn Robinson scoring. He is a great star at Wyoming. 65-61. He makes it now 77-72. Five and a half to go, third period. Detroit trailing Lou Alcindor and the Bucks of Milwaukee. And again, Bellamy bangs it in outside. Two in a row. Will Alcindor come out? We'll watch the next time down. I got a Foul called against Butch Comey. Backcourt foul, Jerry. Uh, 
So the big guy goes to the line, Lou Alcindor. And Alcindor, as a collegian from the foul line, was not a great one at all. He only hit on 63% in three years of college ball. There's his college scoring average, 26-24. We should qualify that, that Alcindor was not in the backcourt, but because the team had possession of the ball in the backcourt and the ball was still in the backcourt when the foul was committed, Lou is shooting two shots. Lou Alcindor, born in New York City with his parents up here today, and what a great warm welcome they received just a moment ago as they were introduced to the crowd. 78-74, that's the score. The Bucks lead, 5-18 to go, and that's Bellamy powering his way in for the score, and he's fouled. So we've seen Bellamy with three consecutive baskets. Now Alcindor will have to concern himself more with Bellamy as an individual. Play him a little tighter, and it should be an interesting uh, situation, Jerry. Bellamy now has 15 points, and it's 24 for Alcindor. So Bellamy's had a fine second half as Alcindor controlled the first half. And who knows, perhaps that stamina factor might be a big factor here with Alcindor in the second half. There you see Bellamy with 20 more points using that weight, the 20 more pounds using that weight on Alcindor inside. And he's really bumping him with the elbow and fend him off with the elbow, warding him away. No basket, no basket. That is an offensive goaltending call against Alcindor, and he'll have to learn to leave the ball alone on the rim. Again, there you see Alcindor touching the ball on the inside of the rim. You're not allowed to do that in the NBA. And the trail referee, Mendy Rudolph, caught it, so it's no basket. 78-77, Bellamy, and a great block shot by Alcindor. He blocked it as it was on its way up. It was a legal block. That's his third block shot of the afternoon. Alcindor with Bellamy leaning on him with his elbows. Barrels his way, and it's in and out. Greg Smith with the rebound. Bellamy really working him over away from the ball now. He's leaning on him, hitting him with the elbow around the waist. Look at that elbow. There you see Look the elbow, elbow on his wrist here. Look at that. Bellamy using that weight. That's much like a boxer working on the stomach during a fight and look out in the late round. Four minutes to go, third quarter, 78-77. Milwaukee clinging to the lead. And Bellamy charged up. Bellamy leading the fast break. And Lou Alcindor late getting down. And again they collide underneath the board as he tries to go to the high post. And the shot taken by the rookie in the corner, Dandridge. Dandridge makes it 80 to 77. And they have told us all along that the book on this kid is he's a good outside shooter. As a matter of fact, he hit an amazing 58.5% from the field in college. And here's Dave Bay back in the ball game. One throw. You'll see his hey, left leg if they shoot down later on if he goes to the foul line. There it is. There's Bing's leg. He's really had problems with that surgery less than a month ago, and here he is playing. That's an Elgin Baylor story. You know, Bellamy is such a key player on this Detroit club. Uh, he's alive now. He's playing inspired ball here in the second half, and he's bringing this ball club back. It's so important in the NBA to have a good player in that center position. Greg Smith with a tight right rebound slot pulls it down off the boards. It's 80 to 77. Guy Rogers with the ball. Rogers against Tomas. In it goes to Alcindor. Double teamed and knocked out of bounds by Eddie Miles. Rogers. He's now in his 12th year in the NBA. He's a four time All Star with the ball. Gives to Dandridge. Dandridge back to McLaughlin. Back to Rogers. Rogers from Temple shooting outside. That is not his strength. They normally give him the shot. Here comes Detroit. They're trailing by three. Intercepted by Smith. He falls out of bounds and gives it to McLaughlin. That's Dandridge, three on one. Rogers. And you saw Bellamy wisely not try and block the shot on Rogers. With Bellamy playing the way he's playing now, the last thing they want is him to get in foul trouble. A five point lead. Bellamy way out on the right has it. Five point lead for Milwaukee. That's Bing, and obviously that left leg is bothering him. 82-77, Dandridge. Time out by Butch Van Bredekoff. He wants to stop the momentum. Pistons calling a strategic timeout to try and stop the momentum of the Milwaukee Bucks here. The Bucks charging back. 
Led by Lou Alcindor, Guy Rogers quarterbacking the ball club. And it's a seven point lead with 2.54 to go. You'll note that when Bing shoots on his left leg, his push off leg, he is hampered by it. He cannot get up the way he used to, and until that leg comes back, he'll have some problems. That's Dissinger's shot blocked, and he gets it back. Barry misses in the rebound. Fort forward again, it's one of the Smith boys. Greg, out of bounds. As the pass goes too far. You'll see a running, exciting Milwaukee Ball Club this year. And I know those of you in San Diego listening are looking forward to Wednesday with Elvin Hayes against the big guy in San Diego, October 22nd. He'll draw him wherever he goes this year. It'll be quite a year for the Bucks. That's Bing. His push-off foot is his left foot. See how he favored it as he went down? He's going to have his problems, ball, ball. number 21, getting that leg back in shape, Dave yeah. Bing. You know, we saw Lou Alcindor just drop back on that pick. They've tried to run it twice after it was successful, and Alcindor has stepped back, allowing his guard to slide through. Bellamy misses the outside shot. Dandridge with the rebound, goes to Rogers, 84-77 Milwaukee. Two minutes, four seconds to go. We're in the third period. The biggest lead by either team has been eight. Here's the jumper by Dandridge. That's short. He gets it back. Looks for Alcindor, warding him off, keeping him outside. Bellamy, look at him with the elbow away from the ball. You know, Jerry, at this stage of a ball game, a fellow like Rogers in that backcourt with 12 years of experience can settle a ball club down. And they work to get the block on the shot, and he put it through. 18 for Moose. He's with the San Diego ball club. We used to kid him and call him the Carl Yastrzemski of basketball. That's driving and missing with a shot Dissinger. To take a close look at John McLaughlin, he does look a little Ball bit like David. a baseball player. People nowadays will be saying Yastrzemski looks like 14, McLaughlin ball. if he continues Just to play the way five. he is and if Alcindor continues to play the way he has shown so far. Here's Len Chappell in the ball game, and Dandridge gets a fine round of applause as he comes out. That was his fifth foul. You know, Dandridge had those two outside shots. Lenny Chappell, they're sagging in on Alcindor. Lenny Chappell, a fine outside shooter, will probably draw that defense out, and they'll make him guard it. Dissinger, who sat out a couple of years in the Army, misses the second shot. Bing gets the rebound. Look at him go. That's Dissinger, who has great mobility, missing the shot. McLemore faking out Al Cinder and scoring. Basket by McLemore. And it's 86 to 80. A six point lead for Milwaukee with a minute and 15 to go. And somebody is getting the bounce. Number five, Mendy Rudolph, is going to throw someone right out of the arena. One of the Pistons is gone. I don't know if that's Paul Long he's thrown out or not. That's Paul Long. Paul Long put Van Breedekoff smiling and helping Paul Long. A little vociferous on the bench. Paul was hollering earlier along with Tom Workman and Long has just been run right out of here. And the immortal words of an ejected man, I didn't say a word. And McLaughlin made the foul shot uh, for the technical for the Milwaukee Bucks. 87-80, the Bucks still in possession, they lead. A minute and eight to go, third quarter. They're using Alcindor at the high post upon occasion. That's Chapel outside. There's that outside shooting I was talking about, Jerry. They're going to have to come out and guard Lenny Chapel. To give Lenny some room outside, get him a pick, and he's tough. He won a ball game here last year from the top of the key with a jumper at the buzzer, beating the Rockets in San Diego. 89 to 80 with the ball. Milwaukee, they have the lead. There's Rogers moving right to left. That's Greg Smith. The Bucks can do no wrong. You know, it's interesting at this stage of the game, they're going to uh, Guy Rogers. They have confidence in his experience. Bing bringing it up in a whistle. The Bucks are beating Detroit at what used to be their game. The scrambling, fast moving of the basketball. That frankly, without Hap Hairston, Detroit Second has not really had to a great degree this afternoon. But to their credit, to this point, they've hung in this ball game. There's a timeout here in the third quarter with 28 seconds to go on the score. Milwaukee 91, Detroit 80. Jerry, I think we're seeing the versatility of this Milwaukee Buck uh, ball club. They've opened up an 11-point lead without uh, the services of Al Cinder. That's kind of a silly statement, but Al Cinder has not scored. Uh, they've been sagging in on Al Cinder and the outside uh, ball players, Glenn Robinson, John McLaughlin, have been hitting the shots to open up this 11-point lead. 
There's Dave Bing, a two-time All-Star, now in his fourth year in the NBA, and making it with 28 seconds to go, 91-81. The Bucks up by 10, their biggest bulge was 11. Guy Rogers brings it up against Dave Bing. Dave having trouble going laterally on that bad wheel. Chapel at the high post, or Cinder at the low post. They want him to shoot. He does. He misses in the rebound by McLemore. Stolen away by Flynn Robinson, but he carries it out of bounds. Jerry, Lou Alcindor visibly upset at himself because uh, Bellamy's weight has influenced him in his shooting, and he's not shooting, and he's not too pleased with the way he's shooting out there. It's a man-to-man -man press all over the court by Robinson and Rogers, but Comad breaks it. The shot's missed at the buzzer. That's the end of the third quarter with a score here in Milwaukee. 91 for the Bucks, 81 for the Pistons. All-Star Game this year, January 20th in Philadelphia. ABC will be there. And the premier game for the NBA Game of the Week will be in Phoenix on December 25th. Tom Workman in the game, now for Detroit. Walker has it to Dissinger, who moving, shoots and misses. Rebounded underneath by Bellamy, and he's tied up in a jump ball between the Big Bell and the Big A. Tom Workman, number 23, acquired just yesterday from Baltimore to try and fill the shoes of Steve Mix, their first draft choice, who was drafted into the service for five months. Flynn Robinson has the ball. 11 minutes, 45 seconds left to go in the game. A 10-point lead for the team in white, Milwaukee, featuring Lou Alcindor, who has scored 24 points. A jumper on the left, no good, and the rebound by Dissinger. That's Dave Bing, and he has it stolen away from behind, knocked away by Robinson to Rogers. And that's Rogers coming it back off his knee and out of bounds by Walker. You know, Dave Bing is just not moving as well as he uh, normally does, Jerry. He's bothered by that knee, and the Bucks are trying to take advantage of it, clearing the side for Flynn Robinson to work one-on-one -on -one against Bing. We're seeing quite a battle between centers here today, Alcindor and Bellamy. There's going to be quite a battle in San Francisco tonight. Franklin Muley's Nate Thurman will be up against Elvin Hayes. That should be quite a battle in San Francisco this evening. Here come the Bucks. It's three on three in the right lane, Robinson, with Bing knocking it away. 91-81 here. Detroit trailing Milwaukee. Detroit beat Milwaukee. They were one spot above them last year. Bing with those quick hands knocks it away. It's two on one. Workman on the right gets it, drives, and misses the layup. Rebounded by Chapman, who goes to Greg Smith. There's the left-hander jumper. A boom. Once again, the Bucks showing a real fine fast break. Alcindor and uh, Lenny Chapel working the board, getting it out, and they're moving that ball down and getting the layup. This is the biggest lead so far in the game by Milwaukee. They're up by 12. Bing again, short with a jumper. Bellamy. That's good by Bellamy. Up. And the big guy has 18 points against Alcindor's 24. Robinson, one on three. So That's good by Robinson. 10 minutes, 13 seconds left. Once again, Jerry, I think uh, you have to be objective and say that Alcindor is bothered a little bit. He's taking a little rest out there. He's a little tired. By as a result, he's not going out Good after by. Bellamy as much as he did at the outset of the ball game. So perhaps all the rumors about his stamina are true, and this could be a factor in his NBA career. An offensive foul against offensive Guy Rogers, and Rogers. the veteran does not like the call. Gives the ball up, a 10-point lead. Still plenty of time with the NBA. Of times we've seen leads in the last 10 years of 20 points. With 10 minutes to go, go down the drain. A jumper by Bellamy, off the back of the rim. That's Guy Rogers, the smallest man on the court, grabbing it. Robinson against Workman. Back to the trail left, Greg Smith. The Boston Ball Club will do that well. We have a trailer down that middle lane come in off time. And that was perfectly by Greg Smith. 97 to 85, 920 to go. Dave Bing with the ball. He pulls up for his jump. The rebound tapped over to Alcindor. And Guy Rogers, look at him run now. There you see the Bucks fast break. Conversely, the Pistons are not working together at all. They're bringing the ball down. There's Van Britikoff, and he's not happy at all. 
about the individual play. All they're doing is clearing the side and letting uh, a fellow work one on one. As we see Walker work against Glenn Robinson. There's again the play that gave him trouble earlier. That's the pick and roll play. And on a switch, Chapel commits the foul. The first first foul. Now, Cinder again did not watch his man underneath on the pick and roll. Went for the guard or the picking man, the man who set the screen. Now, Cinder's man went in for the layup, and he was fouled. 99-87, Jack, with 8.48 to go. The Pistons, I'm sure, Jerry, want to get a little speed into that forecourt, so you're seeing Eddie Miles come back in for Tom Workman at forward. The Bucks fast break has bothered the Pistons. Miles getting a little speed into that forecourt. A 13-point lead is cut down to 99-88. Robinson with a move on Pelamy. Alcindor with a rebound. Score. 26 points for the big guy. And this is first game at the pro. And with 8.26 to go, he might hit 30 easily. Foul call again. Milwaukee, and at the line, one of the Detroit players. UCLA against California. Next, football on ABC. Otto Moore comes in the game, number 20. Dave Bing comes out of the game. So Comives is back in. Eddie Miles, Jimmy Walker, who's at the foul line, Butch Comives, Terry Dissinger, and Otto Moore for Detroit. Now we'll see Alcindor be able to get an added rest. Otto Moore has not been successful in hitting the outside shot, so Alcindor does not have to follow him out as much as he had to uh, follow Bellamy out, who was hot here in the second half. Jimmy Walker, who's missed a few airplanes in his career, does not miss the two shots, and it's 101 90. 8 14 to go. Bringing the ball up, knocking it away. Robinson, Tomas, chases it, can't get it. Flynn takes the pass to Alcindor, who scores. Eight minutes to go in the game. A 103 90 lead for the downtrodden Milwaukee Bucks. Tomai chasing the loose ball. Out of bounds, and Costello grabs his man, Robinson. Oh, look out! Robinson and Tomai get at it. And Greg Smith, who's bigger than Tomai, jumps in. And we have almost some extracurricular activity. Two shoves and Rudolph. Tomai gets away from anything. Certainly won't back away from Greg Smith. Let's watch it on slow motion action as a result of the play. Knocking it out of bounds, they tangled you. And there you see 30, Butch Comai going after the ball. There you see Butch, Glenn Robinson, number 21, and uh, Butch nudges him a little bit right into the stand. You know, Flynn had something to say when he came off of Larry Costello's lap. And we almost inaugurate the NBA boxing season this afternoon. Two pushes, no swings. I'll tell you, Jerry, I bounced off of Butch Comai. It's like bouncing off a little fireplace. A tough cookie, Butch Komai. He's what you call a hard nose. And he's the kind of a guy that Van Bredikoff likes because Butch is that kind of a guy. Komai's now moved past Robinson, but it's stolen away by Greg Smith. Robinson has it. And he goes up and it's blocked by a Walker. Greg Smith on a scramble. Things getting heated here. And that's Chapel. Otto Moore with a rebound and he's belted. To keep this game from getting out of hand to prevent what might happen as a result of the near fight. Watch him get whacked. There you see the action underneath there. And right Third there, you see the foul. foul. And Otto Moore on the line at Fourth the other line. end of the floor. And once again, Jerry, I don't know how Backcourt significant this throw. is, but Alcindor did not come over the half court line and was not down at that end of the floor, taking advantage uh, of a little rest there at this stage of the ball. Game. Look at that guy. He's ready, isn't he? That's what you call, well, I guess you could call it mezzomania in New York. That might be the start of Buck Fever. 103 91's the score. Seven and a half to go in the game. Now it's an 11 point lead for Milwaukee. They have the ball in white. Miles against Greg Smith. That's Walker, 24, against Fred Crawford. Crawford spinning away from him. Crawford, like Rogers, a pretty good ball handler and able to break that press in the back there. Double teamed Alcindor, hit the open man, and he blew the shot, Greg Smith. There's a great indication. That's what a good center has to do, Jack, is be able to pass. And through the years, you find the good centers, 
have been the ones who can help their teammates by passing as well as scoring. And boy, he just showed he could do it. They can also help themselves because by passing, and when the opponents know that he can pass, it allows them, does not allow them to stay in on them and opens it up a little bit for them. So Alcindor, while helping his team, is helping himself. Otto Moore. You know, if there isn't deficiency in the NBA scoring champion, Elvin Hayes, that might be it. Basket good and 105-92. A great pass by Lou Alcindor, the length of the floor. He has shown today he can pass. He can shoot. And he'll hustle. The only question seems to be stamina. Time out here in the fourth quarter of this live wide world of sports special. The score, Milwaukee 105, Detroit 92. tight race and an exciting year for NBA basketball and you'll see it right here on ABC. That Phoenix Ball Club will be in Philadelphia next Wednesday. Hal Greer had 40 for the 76ers in a great start. So quite a year for everyone this year in the NBA. 105-92 here in Lou Alcindor's debut and he's number 33 at the line. He has scored 28 points. So far, he has four fouls. Fourth Bellamy personal, has three. Otto Moore has four. Now Cinder goes to the foul line. One throw. Lou is four for six at the line and knocks it home. And we want to thank, while we're at it, our statisticians here this afternoon also. Jeff Hudson and Bill Olson for a fine job. A one-hander by Walker. And it counts. Basket's good, and there's a push on the play. So the foul may not have been against Al Cinder, but he hit the ball on the downward flight, and the foul will be against one of his teammates. Of course, you're not allowed to touch the ball on the downward flight, and that's what Larry Costello hopes uh, Lou Al Cinder will do often, because they've talked about Bill Russell's influence back there, blocking the uh, driving lane, and not allowing the uh, team to get the layup that we saw right there. So Al Cinder is very conscious of clogging up that middle. That was the fourth foul against Robinson for the rebound hauled down by Milwaukee, and they now lead by 12. Six minutes, 13 seconds to go in the game. Right. Center at the high post into the open man, and he scores. Greg Smith, and again, the passing of Al Cinder. He hits that open man. He's always looking, and he's picking out uh, those open players, and you're going to see those Milwaukee Bucks continue to cut because they know they're going to get the ball. Al Cinder with a rebound. 108-94. Milwaukee, 14-point lead. Bing with the ball. Back to Crawford. 5.40 to go in the game. It's all Al Cinder. We'll watch him again. He's working low now. Moore trying to hold him back. It's that man dribbles, Jerry. He missed the shot, but he put on quite a display of dribbling. Ball is on Chapel. Loose ball, Bob. Detroit out of bounds. I thought he was fouled there on the move to the basket, but it was an off the ball foul and uh, Lenny Chapel going out of the ball game. On the play, that's the 15th foul called ball. against Milwaukee. It was 5.30 to go. So this is now the penalty situation. In years gone by, it used to be you had one more or two in the two minute period, but right now, you're allotted oh, only four team fouls this year. And on the fifth one, you're in the penalty situation. So Dissinger, a good foul shooter, is there. And his first one's good. He gets another one. Terry Dissinger, a great star at Purdue, now in his sixth year in the league. He was the number two draft choice at Chicago in 62. He was the rookie of the year in his first year with 25 points a game. So that problem's coming back ever since he was in the third. 108-96 the score. Milwaukee leading. And Detroit doing the only thing they can do, pressing the Bucks, trying to get that ball. They have to have that ball to try and work that uh, deficit down. Again, moving the play inside. At that time, the guard went outside. Did not cut inside past Al Cinder and then go out. But he went on the far side, the left side, and cut across. Al Cinder showing he can make the play. Makes it 110 to 96. And Comai shoots and misses outside. Dissinger with a rebound. Back to Jimmy Walker. 
Walker up the middle, but lose there. Back outside to Miles. That's and he hits with 450 to go, and it's 110 to 98. You know, Jerry, uh, another asset that Lou Alcindor has. Last year, this ball club was a confused. Uh, they lack confidence. This year, they're a confident ball club out there. They know they can gamble. Don Smith getting a rebound, putting it back up and in. They know they can gamble like the Celtics have gambled for years. And if they uh, get by, their defender gets by, Lou Alcindor is back there. So he has instilled a great deal of confidence in this ball club. Bellamy with the ball, trying to move on Alcindor. Does not get ground. Back outside to Comar. Four minutes and 20 seconds to go in the ball game. And a 14-point lead. Knocked out of bounds. And it'll be Buck's ball. Here comes McLaughlin, who has already scored double figures in the game, and he has 19. So McLaughlin on the back line, now with Fred Crawford, regarded respectively by Comide and Walker. Behind the back, how do you do? Into the hole it goes. Now, look how he turns and faces underneath with the ball over his head. But it's knocked away this time, and McLemore ends up on a fast break, blows it, and then tips it in. McLemore bangs it home from Drake. In Detroit now, and it's 112 to 100 with 3.40 to go. We saw Freddie Crawford holler high, high, high to Alcindor, so he's out high, wanting his teammates to cut through and open it up inside. Miles blocking out Alcindor as he tried to go for the rebound, and picking it up now, Walker. Walker losing the ball, picks it up, goes to Miles, he has a long time to set, and it's quick. 112-102, a 10-point lead, 3.24 to go. There is time to come back. What a year for the NBA. New coaches, Bob Cousins, Joe Mullaney, and Len Wilkins. And the latter, a playing coach with Seattle. And Larry Costello, a new coach, so to speak, this year. With the big guy, number 33. Mendy Rudolph catches Walter Bellamy. He's been leaning on Alcindor here in the second half, and he was just Four leaning a little too closely five. there. And Mendy Rudolph Alcindor called the, the foul line. on Walter Bellamy. We're watching basketball from Walter Milwaukee and following this one, NCAA college football. UCLA battling against the University of California. Chris Jackson reporting from California. 112-102. Walker missing the shot. Alcindor rips it off the board. That's John Smith over to McLaughlin. He pulls up for his jumper. Two minutes and 47 seconds to go, and it's 114 to 102. And the veteran, John McLaughlin, 26 years old, bangs it home. And it's now the lead of 12 with two and a half to go. And it looks like it's been certainly a successful and auspicious debut for Lou Alcindor. I think we'll see him around for quite a while, Jerry. What a duel there will be upcoming with Chamberlain against this guy. October 24th, Friday night in Los Angeles, Milwaukee in. Jack Kent Cook will put his powerful ball club against Big Lou. Looking even further ahead, Alcindor will meet Nate Thurman in San Francisco, Saturday, October 25th. The Milwaukee fans didn't like that call. Mendy Rudolph called the ball go off. Lou Alcindor's late, Detroit's ball inside. Freddie Crawford wisely slowing it down, trying to eat up a few minutes here in the closing minutes of this ball game. Two minutes to go. 114-104. That's McLemore against John Smith into the cutting. Bellamy who lays it up and misses, and he's fouled. The fifth foul against Alcindor. Johnny Hawkins will foul on be up against this guy, number 33. Out, over 26 Detroit. in Phoenix. Time out here in the fourth quarter. The score, Milwaukee 114 and Detroit 104. More college scores for you. Tied up, USC and Notre Dame Bellamy for Purdue over line. Iowa. That's Three the second eight. quarter score. Seven-point lead for Indiana against Illinois in the third. And 20-zip, Ohio State over Minnesota in the second. Michigan State over Michigan in the second period. <laughs> Bellamy at the foul line makes it a nine-point lead. 114 to 105, and Danbridge comes back in the ball Don game at 6-6. Six, six. Don Smith has been a terror on the boards at 6-9, comes out. Three times last year, he had 23 rebounds in a ball game. He can go get them. Bellamy shooting again. 
I think with Dandridge coming into the game with the press, they want a little more ball handling. Dandridge a little more of an offensive shooting threat so that uh, they can keep that ball moving around, trying to break the Detroit press. And double team McLaughlin. Will he find the open man? He does. It's Dandridge. A minute and 42 to go. An eight point lead by Milwaukee. Bellamy loses the ball, but picking it up, McLemore. Back to Bellamy between his legs, and he's got it. Hey, if they get a bucket here, things will get tight. A minute and a half to go. Intercepted. On the block by Robinson. Over to Greg Smith. McLaughlin brings it up. An eight point lead with a minute 24 to go, and a timeout, Milwaukee. Timeout, Milwaukee. So, with a timeout on the court and a minute and 22 to go, we'll take a brief pause. The score 114, Milwaukee, 106, Detroit. For those of you watching in Detroit, Walt Bellamy and Otto Moore will get a crack back at Lou Alcindor on October 30th. Luke Jackson, who is called on Cinder as the best center ever, he has predicted that he will be the best center ever. Luke will get a chance to go against him October 31st in Philadelphia. And the great center of the New York Knickerbockers, Willis Reed, will meet Alcindor in New York City November 1st. In Boston, November 11th, and Baltimore, November 15th, and in Seattle, November 21st, Chicago, November 22nd. And those are dates that I know you're going to be anxious to see the great Alcindor play. And as we have said, Jerry, as Glenn Robinson goes across the middle, he does so many things out there. He helps his ball club in so many ways, and he is a great basketball player, as advertised. Six assists so far for Alcindor in the game. He is 12 for 27 from the field. Those are the statistics on Alcindor's first Ball game as a pro. We have one minute, one second left in the game. 116-106. A 10-point bulge for the men in white, the Milwaukee Bucks. 16 ball on Milwaukee. And now Bellamy three chances to make two for Walt Bellamy. Great of Bellamy eight, is traded to New York for Johnny Egan. Jim Barnes and Johnny Green and Money in 65. And eventually came over in the DeBusher trade with Butch Comide to Detroit. He makes it 116-108. Alcindor in backcourt against the press. Goes to McLaughlin. Walker against him. Spinning away. Double team. Going to get blindsided. Look out. Gets it away to Robinson. 51 seconds to go. And an eight-point lead for the team with the ball. McLaughlin uh, transformed forward, showing a little dribbling that uh, uh, he didn't have last year as a guard. A fourth shot missed by Robinson. Comibes has it, 37 seconds to go. His ball club down by eight. They're going to have to hurry. McLemore makes his move, beats one man, and scores. And it's a six-point lead with 30 seconds to go. Here's Robinson going on McLemore. He hits McLaughlin, who scores. He's on the case. 24 seconds left in the ball game. 118, 110. That's the score. Don't forget NCAA football following on ABC immediately. Miles misses the jumper, and with 14 seconds to go, it's knocked out of bounds. So Alcindor has had 29 points, five personal fouls, six assists. He is 12 for 27 from the field. Quite a stop. Five seconds. Four seconds. And there's a foul called against Tomai. Comise wanted to get one more in against Bob well, Robinson Comise. before the game was over. They were paired against one another, and you remember Fort the Brown altercation earlier. Brown. So, uh, Butch uh, getting the last one in there. One throw. Clint Robinson, as I said, averaging close to 30 points a game in this exhibition series. Now it's 119 to 110. Four seconds to go in the game. Milwaukee leads, and Milwaukee will win it. One second to go. And the Bucks have won their opener. And a team that was in the cellar last year looking forward toward a playoff this year. And what a difference one player makes. The shot is blocked by Al Cinder at the buzzer. Oh, what a job he did. The final score, 119 Milwaukee, 110 for Detroit. And now this is Jerry Gross along with Jack Wyman saying so long from Milwaukee.